Hi, I welcome you very much to my post on filling in missing links of a fair data infrastructure for electromicroscopy. This work has been done by my group and I at Humboldt University at the Department of Physics. And I will explain to you first what the problem is that we're trying to solve. So electron microscopes, here is an example of one of the microscopes that we operate at HU in Berlin. Um, they are very versatile. We can collect all kinds of different data, images, diffraction patterns, spectra, maps of spectra, tomography data sets, all kinds of data sets. And um, we also have, of course, very different specimen that we look at and um, can record huge amounts of data. So some of our detectors, they can acquire several uh, gigabytes per second uh, of data. It's almost comparable to what the CERN produces in data. And um, much of this data is, as you will see here in this diagram, uh, recorded for the trash bin. Because if only a very small subset of the data actually makes it into publication, nobody actually does the work of preparing all the rest of the data that is not used for publication um, to be at least stored for later use by other people. Because this concept of sharing data and using data by others is not so well established. But one reason for that is, of course, also that it's very difficult and very time consuming to prepare data for other people to be used in the future. Um, because there are no databases that are specific to, for electron microscopy in the material science, really. I mean, there's a few databases for uh, cryo-electron microscopy, also for spectroscopy in electron microscopes, so the EELS database, for example. But um, these are all very specific and nothing that is actually generic enough. And also, the problem is if people record data on their, during the experiment, then they need to have this infrastructure, for example, electronic lab notebooks that are interfacing with the software that acquires the data that are not existing. So the solution that we actually have proposed is, um, and that we're working on, we have used an open source electronic lab notebook, eLab FTW, and we've modified it actually to suit our purposes. For example, it's very nice in storing um, free text data and you can upload images to it and so on, but we want to have structured information in there that we can then also um, have machines go through the data and extract information from it. So we've now extended the capabilities of this open source ELN solution to also store structured meta information uh, in form of JSON files that you can even edit online and so on. And this is directly interfacing with the acquisition software that we use on our microscopes, on some of our microscopes. It's also an open source software, so Neon Swift. And so by interfacing the acquisition with the storage in this electronic lab notebook, we've actually built now an infrastructure that makes it very easy to make your data fair already doing acquisition. And of course, this includes also other features. For example, down here you see that um, we've also uh, started to develop labels that can be printed on sample boxes that are then interfaced, um, of course, with the electronic lab notebook because the UUID that is encoded in this QR code is then also referenced, of course, in the electronic lab notebook. And having basically this uh, solution that covers all these different aspects of data acquisition and making data fair actually we believe will make it much more easy to record fair data in the electromicroscope but further discussion of this i refer to the poster and i'm welcoming you there